Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. Today we will be learning to use negative fractions and decimals. Let's dive on in. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to order and compare positive and negative fractions and decimals. The Common Core State Standards today are 6NSC5, 6A, and 6C. Example number one, negative fractions and decimals on a number line. Part A, graph four-fifths and its opposite. We'll start by drawing our number line, and we have negative four-fifths on the left to positive four-fifths on the right. The first point that we need to graph is four-fifths. The opposite of four-fifths is negative four-fifths, so we'll graph that point, and now we're done with this problem. Part B, graph negative 1.75 and its opposite. Once again, we can draw a number line. This time I started with negative two on the left and two on the right, and I labeled by halves for each tick mark. Negative 1.75 is halfway between negative two and negative 1.5. The opposite of negative 1.75 is positive 1.75, so we'll graph this halfway between 1.5 and 2, and we're done. Example number two, comparing fractions and decimals. Part A, use a number line to compare the two fractions, negative two-thirds and negative five-sixths. Once again, we will draw a number line. Notice that I did not put zero in the middle this time so that I could focus in on the part that I need. Next, I need to plot the two points. One of the points is at negative 5 sixths, and the other is at negative 2 thirds. We notice that negative 2 thirds is to the right of negative 5 sixths. So, we know that negative 2 thirds is greater than negative 5 sixths. Remember that this is because the value of the numbers increases as you move to the right on the number line. Part B. Use a number line to compare the two decimals negative 12.45 and negative 12.3. Draw your number line and then plot the two points. Notice that negative 12.45 is farther to the left on the number line, so negative 12.45 is less than negative 12.3. This is because the value of the numbers decreases as you move to the left on the number line. Example number three ordering fractions and decimals. Part A, write the decimals in order from greatest to least. We have negative 6.7, negative 7, negative 6.85, and negative 6.9. We'll draw our number line and then graph the points. To write the numbers in order from greatest to least, we need to start on the right hand side and work our way towards the left. So we have the following order negative 6.7, negative 6.85, negative 6.9, and negative 7. Now for part B. Write the mixed numbers in order from least to greatest. This time we have negative 3 and 6 sevenths, negative 3 and 1 seventh, negative 3, and negative 4. Draw a number line and graph the points. And this time, to write the numbers in order from least to greatest, we need to start on the left and work our way to the right. So we have negative 4, negative 3 and 6 sevenths, negative 3 and 1 seventh, and negative 3. Example number 4 is a real world example. The table below shows the rate of descent for three divers. Which diver is descending the fastest? We have diver A at a rate of negative 2.3 feet per minute, diver B at a rate of negative 2.7 feet per minute, and diver C at a rate of negative 2.5 feet per minute. We can use a vertical number line to help us solve this problem. Draw the number line and then plot the points. Notice that negative 2.7 is at the bottom of the number line. This means that diver B is descending the fastest 
with a speed of negative 2.7 feet per minute. Today you learned to order and compare positive and negative fractions and decimals. The Common Core State Standards today were 6 NSC 5, 6A, and 6C. Now that you are familiar with these techniques, complete the independent practice problems in your guided notes packet. Then watch the independent practice solutions video to check your work. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math, where it all adds up. I'll see you next time.